Hi, my name is Jamie and I'm from Norman, Oklahoma. I chose The Outsiders by Essie Hinton because this book was really special to me growing up. I grew up in the Tulsa area where it takes place and we had to read it in school. I also really admired the fact that um, Essie Hinton wrote it when she was just 16. So I'm going to read from a, the very first chapter. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things on my mind, Paul Newman and a ride home. I was wishing I looked like Paul Newman. He looks tough and I don't, but I guess my own looks aren't so bad. I have light brown, almost red hair and greenish gray eyes. I wish they were more gray because I hate most guys that have green eyes, but I have to be content with what I have. My hair is longer than a lot of boys wear theirs, squared off in the back and long at the front and sides but I am a greaser, and most of my neighborhood rarely bothers to get a haircut. Besides, I look better with long hair. I had a long walk home and no company, but I usually loan it anyway, for no reason except that I like to watch movies undisturbed so I can get into them and live them with the actors. When I see a movie with someone, it's kind of uncomfortable, like having someone read a book over your shoulder. I'm different that way. I mean, my second oldest brother, Soda, who is 16 going on 17, never cracks a book at all. And my oldest brother, Daryl, who we call Derry, works too long and hard to be interested in a story or drawing a picture. So I'm not like them. And nobody in our gang digs movies and books the way I do. For a while there, I thought I was the only person in the world that did, so I loaned it. Soda tries to understand at least, which is more than Derry does. But then, Soda is different from anybody. He understands everything, almost. Like, he's never hollering at me the way Derry does, or treating me as if I was six instead of 14. I love Soda more than I've ever loved anyone, even mom and dad. He's always happy-go-lucky and grinning, while Derry's hard and firm and rarely grins at all. But then, derry has gone through a lot in his 20 years, grown up too fast. Soda Pop will never grow up at all. I don't know which way's the best. I'll find out one of these days. Anyway, I went on walking home, thinking about the movie, and then suddenly wishing I had some company. Greasers can't walk alone too much, or they'll get jumped, or someone will come by and scream, Greaser! at them, which doesn't make you feel too hot, if you know what I mean. We get jumped by the socias. I'm not sure how you spell it, but it's the abbreviation for the socials, the jet set, the west side rich kids. It's like the term greaser, which is used to class all us boys on the east side. We're poorer than the socias in the middle class. I reckon we're wilder too. Not like the socias, who jump greasers and wreck houses and throw beer blasts for kicks and get editorials in the paper for being a public disgrace one day and an asset to society the next. Greasers are almost like hoods. We steal things and drive old souped up cars and hold up gas stations and have a gang fight once in a while. I don't mean I do things like that. Derry would kill me if I got into trouble with the police. Since mom and dad were killed in an auto wreck, the three of us get to stay together only as long as we behave. So Soda and I stay out of trouble as much as we can. And we're careful not to get caught when we can't. I only mean that most greasers do things like that. Just like we wear our hair long and dress in blue jeans and t-shirts or leave our shirt tails out and wear leather jackets and tennis shoes or boots. I'm not saying that either socials or greases are better. That's just the way things are.